right, we're making applesauce today. I went and bought some organic apples. Eli's filming. Look out. Me. Okay. Right. Talk to that camera. That's a pet. Yeah, let's do chores. I noticed last night. Hey, if you made it to the end of that video, you're the winner. Just kidding. Good morning, guys. Cold, wet day. We had a couple kittens not make it through the night. So we're gonna start keeping them inside. That stinks. Other than that, we're gonna go eat breakfast. Having a great day. Not a great day, because the cat's died. So we lost two kittens last night. Got pretty cold outside, but we're also thinking the mama is not taking very good care of these kittens. It's getting a little cold outside, but there are outdoor cats, there are barn cats. And got down into the maybe 50, just under 50 degrees last night. But we're seeing the mom is kind of crazy and not giving them the food they need. So we are trying to get them inside, get them warm and then also give them some food because their mom just won't give them enough. applesauce today. I went and bought five bushels of organic apples. We're going to cut them up, cook them, and then we're going to end up canning the applesauce. So what we're going to start with is you're going to put a little bit of water in the bottom of your pan. Just enough to cover it, the bottom of it. And then we're going to quarter the apples just to get them down to smaller size. It doesn't matter if it has the seeds or the stems in it. When we run it through the ricer, it's gonna take that all out. The apple's been cooking and they are done. So I was gonna show you what that looks like. Really mushy apples. What I'm gonna do now is take this over here. I'm gonna put the apples in the ricer. And you're just gonna spin it until it looks really dry. And it comes through on the sides. So just keep packing it down until it is all look like it's just peelings. You see that in there? Gee, all you see is the peelings and the seeds and stuff. You're going to want to scrape all the excess applesauce off the sides and then dump your peelings and stuff out. And the bad apples that we've cut out doesn't go to waste, it goes to the chickens. So they have their portion of food there. I am done with the ricer. We got the applesauce all processed. And now we're going to start the hot water baths. What you need to do is pour boiling water on the seals, on the lid, so that it softens up the rubber and that it'll seal better. Now we're gonna fill the applesauce into the jars. We've got our hot 
applesauce. We've been leaving it on the stove so that we'll be warm when you fill it into the jars. You're gonna fill the jar until there's about a half inch space from the top. Then you're gonna clean the rim of the jar off so there's no food. Take the hot lid, place it on top, and then screw the lid on firmly. And it's ready to go in the hot water bath. We got the jars in the canning rack now, and you wait till the water is boiling and you lower it in slowly. And you wait till it starts boiling again, and then you start the timer for 25 minutes. It's done, so now we're gonna lift them out. You're gonna let these completely cool before you touch the band. Don't loosen them, don't tighten them. Just set them aside, keep them sitting straight up and let them cool completely and then you can store them away. We started with three bushels of apples and we yielded 42 quart jars. No, pints! <laughs> and we yielded 42 pint jars of applesauce. And that's with some bad apples, so it wouldn't be a complete three bushels, but that's giving you an idea if you're wanting that much applesauce. If you like to look up the instructions that we used, we got it from the Kerr Home Canning and Freezing Book. All the instructions are in there on how to can, the proper way of doing it, and that is the instructions we used. So this is the applesauce, all done, ready to be stored. You hear it starting to, the seal's starting to pop. I like to make my own applesauce because I don't do everything organic, but I try to do as much as possible, especially with apples and applesauce. I like to do mostly organic. And it's kind of hard and pricey to find organic applesauce with no sugar. I don't like to put sugar in it. If it's not quite sweet enough, but this, I've tried it, is so good. It don't even need sugar. But if you think it needs a little bit of sugar, you can add a little cinnamon sugar at the time when you're eating it. But it works great not putting any sugar in it. So that is why we make your own applesauce. Why not? Mm -hmm.